Hi, you guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing, and we're about to dive into one of my favorite topics, which is investing expectations versus reality. You know, there are just very few people in the world that try to truly understand investing. This means that there are a lot of misconceptions that have been perpetuated about investing for a long, long time. Let's try to, let's try to blow a couple of those up right here. The financial industry, for example, is highly incentivized, if you think about it, to just keep the average person feeling insecure and confused about how to invest. Now, after all, they get to keep a percent of your money if you use them to help you manage your portfolio, right? So I'm here today because I was lucky enough that someone taught me, like really taught me, how investing works and how to be successful with it. It was sort of like pulling back the curtain in Oz, you know, right? The guy behind the curtain there working the machine and realizing there's just a man back there making things up as he goes. That's really the truth about most of the investment advisors out there. The truth is investing is something anyone can learn and it's something I love to share with people. It's not about how smart you are, there's a misconception. It's really not, it's, it's about an ordinary person doing a few things right. Very, very simple things. Doesn't mean it's easy, and let's talk about some of the reasons it's not. The biggest kind of frustration, I guess, that most people have is that it truly does require patience to be a good investor. There are lots of expectations that people have about investing that just aren't reality. If you're not doing it the right way, if you're trying to rush it, you're gonna be in trouble. Now, this doesn't mean you won't get wealthy quickly. What it means is you can't just go do it now. You've got to kind of look for the right kind of opportunities and take them when they show up. So to you know, kind of clear up some of the confusion, we're gonna take a look at some of the most common misguided expectations about investing and how they compare with reality. So first, expectation is that investing will make you rich overnight. I don't know how many people really think that, but what I do know is that an awful lot of people try to get rich overnight, and that's why these 2 a.m. in the morning infomercials are still on the air. We all wanna make it easy, right? I'm gonna tell you, investing is simple, really is, but it isn't necessarily easy. It can make you incredibly wealthy, but it will most likely not happen overnight. Compounding interest is what makes us really rich. And that just takes time to build up. And stocks rarely skyrocket in the value over the short term. By short term, I mean in a few weeks. Stocks often skyrocket in a few months if you buy them right. So while stories of people who invested in a gold mine of a company and became millionaires in a matter of months are kind of alluring, they really sort of make for great stories because they're so rare. Most of us, it took some time. For me to go from starting with nothing much and getting to a million dollars took me five years. I mean, that's better than, you know, getting it done in 50 years, I suppose. But five years isn't overnight, and there was a lot of work getting there. So instead of trying to earn a fortune through investing in a matter of weeks or months or even a couple of years, it's really essential to adopt a more long-term, forward-thinking approach. Effective investing may not make you a millionaire overnight, okay? But it can make you a millionaire by the time you're ready to retire. And how great would it be to truly live free, financially independent, enjoying your time however you want? And we do want to get there as quickly as possible. So there's gonna be some things that we talk about in all of these videos that will help you do that. For right now, let's talk about another expectation. When you purchase a stock on sale, it will only go up. Uh, no. Reality is, finding a company that's on sale relative to its true value is the ultimate prize of investing. That's what we're trying to do. And it's the investing strategy that I, Warren Buffett, countless other investors have used to make a fortune. However, purchasing a company that's on sale does not guarantee that the company is just gonna go up in price from that point forward. In fact, it usually isn't. After all, the company dropped to a price below its value at least that one time already, or it wouldn't have been on sale in the first place. So our expectation actually, and the way we invest, is to expect that that company is gonna go down. Companies that are purchased at a discount 
may absolutely continue to drop for a period of time, right? I mean, they may go up a little from where we bought them and then drop, or they may indeed only go up. I mean, you don't really know. The reality is that short-term fluctuations in price are both common and unpredictable. We don't know where they're gonna go. Over the long run, however, a good company that's purchased on sale will almost always reach back to its true value. If you bought a great company and you bought it half off, it is gonna go back ultimately to its real value sometime. It just may take a little roller coaster of a ride to get there. And by the way, just in terms of the kind of time that that's involved, when you're buying really good companies at a really good value, what you're gonna be expecting to see is that over about maybe a three year period, that company will go back to where it was. In other words, back up 100% gain in, uh, in its uh, price over what you paid. That is huge if you think about it. A 100% gain in price over what you paid over a three year period is a 26% per year compounded rate of return. And that's what our target is. So that's kind of what our expectation is. What actually happens, it can often be much faster than that. So the key is being patient, waiting, finding that opportunity and jumping in, but don't expect it to be just perfectly straight up overnight. Expectation. Investing means you won't have to work anymore. Okay. Well, <laughs> depending on how much you're starting with, right? So reality is that this expectation kind of goes hand in hand with the expectation that investing is gonna make you rich overnight. Kind of in the same way that investing isn't likely to make you a millionaire in a matter of days, it is also pretty unlikely to earn you enough money to retire in a matter of days either. So let's get our feet on the ground. With the right approach, investing can make you able to retire younger and wealthier than your nine to five job ever would have, but you don't wanna quit your day job the day you start investing. Stick with it and keep feeding that investment capital and you'll be way better off. In fact, some of my favorite investors never quit their day job at all, and they made millions and millions of dollars. So don't, don't worry about the day job. Investing isn't something that's gonna take up a ton of your time when you're doing it right, and keep that day job to you know, keep the cash flow going and also keep putting money into the investment portfolio. Okay, another expectation that the market is guaranteed to go up, so you should purchase indexes. Just jump in there, buy the index, it's gonna go up. Uh, hello? Over the course of its entire history, the U.S. stock market has indeed grown at a rate of about 7% a year. And this means that if you spend your money across the entire market by purchasing stock indexes or ETFs that mirror an index and keep it there for a lifetime, you can reasonably expect an average rate of about 7%, maybe a little more. However, average is a key word here. There are absolutely going to be years where you will lose half of your investment capital you're not gonna gain any, sometimes you lose a lot, and that loss can continue for years. There's one point in time in the market from 1929 until 1955, it would have taken you 26 years to break even. And there are multiple times when if you invested, for example, 1965, and, uh, and, and just left your money in there, you would have the same amount of money in 1981. Sorry, excuse me, 1983. So there was a huge period of time, almost 20 years, where it just went sideways. I think we're gonna see uh, that in the future, by the way. Um, there are a number of times where the market goes sideways and your rate of return in that stock market over a 20 year period in the index is uh, anywhere from zero to 5%. So another important point to note is that the rate of inflation, right, over this period of time, about 3% a year. So when it's all said and done, if the market's up seven, you're gonna see about a 4% return in actual real cash that you can spend that's more money than you would have spent already. So purchasing index, not exactly a terrible investing strategy. But, I mean, if you don't know how to invest, it's really the only thing you can do. But it does leave you open to the risk of a stock market crash and a long period of time where you're gonna wonder if being in the stock market is a stupid idea. So keeping an eye on the market and purchasing individual companies that are on sale and built to survive these kinds of crashes is a much, much better strategy. Being able to buy companies that are on sale means when you buy them, they've already had their crash and they're unlikely to really go down a ton more. And if they do, you'll buy some more, all right? Especially for those of you who are nearing kind of into retirement and you can't afford to weather another big bear market, this is really important that you think seriously right now about whether you wanna be in this market at all.
Okay, expectation. Investing is like gambling. Well, a lot of people think so, surely, especially people who believe in efficient market theory because they believe you can't beat the market. Therefore, it's just kind of a mode of gambling to try. The reality is many methods of investing that far too many investors rely on are no doubt exactly like gambling. If you select a stock at random with no research, no real decision-making process, you're gambling. The stock might go up, it might go down. In the end, it's no different than just kind of spinning a roulette wheel. However, not all methods of investing are like that. The world's most successful investors are certainly not gambling their money away. I don't think what I do is gambling at all when I'm putting money into a position that I'm gonna hold a long time. Rather, I feel like I'm buying a business. I'm investing my money carefully. I'm choosing companies that have a very high probability of delivering really good returns over the long run. Now it's true, there's no such thing as a sure thing in the stock market, right? I mean, we think the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. We think America would be great tomorrow. But there are investing strategies that can absolutely massively lower your risk of putting money in the stock market, in my opinion, far below the risk that you take putting your money into an index, if you're willing to learn. And those methods and those strategies will increase your chances for high returns on top of that, which is really wonderful. What we're basically saying is, when you do this the way the best investors in the world do it, you're lowering your risk relative to mutual funds and exchange traded funds, and you're raising the potential for a very high return. Now, who wouldn't wanna do that? And at that point, investing, not gambling at all. We're buying an asset at a very low price that we know is worth much more and much more in the future. Now I'd like to hear from you guys. Did I bust your investing bubble with some of these expectations? Or, you know, not so much. What do you expect out of investing? So leave a comment below with your answer and I'll be sure to follow up with you. And thanks for watching. Now go play. If you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about investing myths and expectations, just hit the like button and please share this video with your friends. If you want more investing content, I've got a great channel out there, subscribe to it and it just keeps coming. And don't forget to click on the button on the screen and you'll get a free gift. Thanks again for watching. See ya.